with Jill Biden's visit to Marquette, there also came criticism. Protesters gathered at the Ordock to show their disapproval. TV6's Caden Minas joins us to gauge critics' reactions. Caden. Tony Grace, it's not a surprise, but supporters of Palestine and Upper Michigan Republicans were quick to disapprove of the First Lady's visit. I spoke to these critics about what changes they want to see. As First Lady Jill Biden was speaking inside of Ordock Brewing Company, chants and drums could be heard. While they did not want to be interviewed, protesters of the war in Palestine called for President Biden to pull his support of Israel. First Congressional District Republican Chair Dare Rendon says these reactions have become common under the current administration. The fact that um, this has has risen to be the topic of the day really overshadows anything that the Biden campaign could do to bring up other issues for women right now. Rendon was also critical of the visit. She says the Women for Biden-Harris campaign is a desperate effort to gather voters. I don't really see what Biden has to offer women. Our inflation rates are the highest they've ever been. Our local paper is carrying articles about people who cannot afford to buy homes of their own. Marquette County Republican Chair Keith Lacoste says he would like to see Republican candidates make similar visits. Many times we are, we feel like we're the forgotten child, uh, whether it's uh, on the state level or federal. Uh, the last GOP candidate uh, was President uh, George W. Bush. As elections get closer, Lacoste wants politicians to remember their voters in rural areas like the Upper Peninsula. Back to you, Grace.